Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. Since there was a new update in Warzone recently, I figured it'd be a good time to be going over the brand new top 5 best class setups, best loadouts to be using in Warzone. I'm going to be going over all the best SMGs, the best ARs, and the best sniper build that I think you guys should be incorporating into your class setups to help improve your KD, get more high kill games, and just enjoy the game more overall. The first weapon we're going to be going over is the STG-44 from Vanguard. I've actually been using this weapon on the majority of my class setups and I've dropped tons of 25, 30 kill games with this weapon. So definitely go ahead and try this class setup out. It's a really good one. It's a sleeper in my opinion. Our muzzle is going to be the MX Silencer over the Mercury Silencer. As you can see the cons are damage range. So we're going to be using the MX Silencer for sound suppression and accuracy. Our barrel is going to be the VDD-760. It's highly accurate and controllable, reduces the scope sway and the gun bob and it increases the damage range. Optic is going to be the G16 2.5X. It's like the best optic to be using for medium to long range encounters and honestly for all my Vanguard weapons you'll see me using the 2.5X or at least the Vanguard ARs you'll see me using the 2.5X at least the ones that I use at medium to long range. It also helps with accuracy and recoil control. Our stock is going to be the VDD 34S weighted. It helps with accuracy, flinch resistance, recoil control and aiming stability. Underbarrel is the M1941 handstop. It's also going to help with recoil control and accuracy. Magazine, this is where I feel like a lot of people mess up because you'll see people using the 45 round mags or the 50s, but the 50s in my opinion just don't hit hard enough. They just got you know, too small caliber of rounds. The 45 rounds do hit harder, but the accuracy can be hard to control for some players. So you kind of like leave yourself in a, a happy medium spot with the 60 round drum, the 8mm curved 60 round drum. So I would definitely recommend using that for the magazine. Ammunition, lengthen, helps improve a bullet velocity. Rear grip is going to be polymer grip to help with flinch resistance, accuracy, and recoil during sustained fire. Perk 1, vital, helps with increased torso damage. And perk 2 is going to be fully loaded so you can start with the maximum amount of ammo. As you can see, I'm using the MP40 for a secondary with the STG class setup, but real quickly, I want to talk about my perks. I'm going to be using the same exact perks for all of my class setups. I'm going to be using EOD, helps with explosive damage. If you didn't know, explosives are pretty overpowered in Warzone, so I definitely recommend using EOD. Overkill is going to be our second attachment because I'm, I'm always going to be using an assault rifle and an SMG. And then our perk 3 is going to be amped. If you want to, if you play a lot, a lot of Caldera instead of like Rebirth Island, you can switch it to Combat Scout. But I personally play a lot more Rebirth Island and being able to switch your weapons is a is really good advantage to have when you're playing Rebirth Island. So I just want to touch on that real quick. Those are my perks. Now we're going to move on to the secondary weapon with Overkill. We're going to be using the MP40, the best class setup for it, guys. Here you go. Muzzle is going to be the recoil booster to help improve your fire rate. Barrel is the Krosnik 317. It's highly accurate and controllable, and it reduces the scope sway in the gun bob. Our optic is going to be the Krosnik ISO 1M. It helps with your aim down sight speed, and it's just like the best iron sight construction to be using for the MP40. Our stock is going to be the Krosnik 33M folding, helps with sprint to fire speed and movement speed. Underbarrel M1930 striped angled, helps with accuracy, aiming stability, and aim walking steadiness. Magazine is going to be the 7.62 Garenko 45s, helps with recoil control and accuracy, movement speed, aim down sight speed, and fire rate. Ammunition, incendiary, helps with incendiary damage, it's extremely broken. Rear grip is going to be polymer grip, pretty much the main rear grip that I'm going to be using because it helps with flinch resistance and accuracy and recoil during sustained fire. Perk 1 for the MP40 is going to be steady, helps with ADS firing move speed, and Perk 2 is going to be quick to help with your sprint speed. For our second loadout, our primary weapon is going to be the Farah 83, an assault rifle from Cold War that honestly still outshines the majority of the Vanguard and the Modern Warfare assault rifles. For our class setup, the muzzle is going to be the groove suppressor up with sound suppression, vertical recoil control, bullet velocity, and effective damage range. Barrel is going to be the 18.7 inch Spetnaz RPK to help with bullet velocity, horizontal recoil control, effective damage range, and vertical recoil control. Our optic is going to be the Axial Arms 3X, just the best one to be using for medium to long range encounters. Underbarrel is going to be the Spetsnaz grip to help with horizontal recoil control and vertical recoil control. Magazine is going to be the Spetsnaz 60 round. So there it is, the best FARA 83 class setup. To go alongside the FARA, we're going to be using the Modern Warfare MP5. Still one of the better SMGs to be using in Warzone. For the barrel, we're going to be using the Monolithic Integral Suppressor to help with sound suppression and bullet velocity. Stock is going to be the FTAC Collapsible to help with movement speed and aim down sight speed. Underbarrel, Merc Foregrip helps with recoil control and hip fire accuracy. Magazine is the 45 round mags and our perk is going to be sleight of hand to help with reload quickness. 
For the third loadout, we're going to be using another Cold War Assault Rifle, the AK-47. This thing still absolutely beams and shreds from medium to long range, and honestly still up close you're able to win gunfights. For the muzzle, you're going to want to be using the Gru Suppressor to help with sound suppression, vertical recoil control, bullet velocity, and effective damage range. The barrel is going to be the 20 inch Spetsnaz RPK to help with bullet velocity, horizontal and vertical recoil control, and effective damage range. Optic is the Axial Arms 3X to help with those medium to long range encounters. Under barrel is going to be the Spetsnaz grip to help with horizontal and vertical recoil control, and the magazine is going to be the Bakelite 60 rounds, so you just have the maximum amount of ammo you possibly can. To go with the Cold War AK-47, we're going to be using the Cold War MP5, still one of the better SMGs to be using in Warzone, really good fire rate, mobility is good as well, damage, and I've got a class setup that's also very accurate. For the muzzle, you're going to be using the agency suppressor to help with sound suppression, vertical recoil control, bullet velocity, and effective damage range. The stock is going to be the Raider stocked up with ADS firing move speed, aim walking movement speed, and sprint to fire time. Under barrel foregrip to help with horizontal recoil control. Magazine is going to be the Stadnag 50 round drum. And our rear grip is going to be the Serpent Rep to help with aim down sight time. Now I'm going to be going over the best sniper loadout in Warzone, talking about the Modern Warfare Car 98K. For the muzzle, you're going to be using the Monothic Suppressor to help with sound suppression and damage range. The barrel is going to be the Syngard Custom 27.6 inch, helps with damage range, bullet velocity, and recoil control. Our laser is going to be the TAC laser to help with aim down sight speed, aiming stability, and aim walking steadiness. Optic sniper scope to help increase your zoom level and the rear grip is going to be the stipple grip tape to help with aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speeds. And one last thing I want to touch on for the sniper loadout, go ahead and make sure you are using the reticle called the cross thread. The best one to be using gives you a really good visible clear field of view. To go alongside the car 98k, I've got a really good bullfrog sniper support class setup for short to medium range encounters. Our muzzle is going to be the groove suppressor to help with sound suppression vertical recoil control, bullet velocity and effective damage range. Barrel is going to be the 7.4 inch task force to help with effective damage range, bullet velocity and strafe speed. Laser is going to be the Tiger Team Spotlight to help with movement speed and aim walking movement speed. Stock is going to be the KGB Skeletal, helps with ADS firing movement speed, aim walking movement speed and sprint to fire time. And our magazine is going to be the 65 rounds to help with our ammo capacity. And last but not least, for our fifth loadout, our primary weapon is going to be the EM2 assault rifle from Cold War, extremely broken, muzzle is going to be the agency suppressor, barrel the 25.8 inch task force, optic is the axial arms 3x, under barrel, field agent grip, and magazine is going to be the 40 round mag. And for our secondary weapon to go alongside the EM2, we're going to be using the OTS-9 SMG from Cold War, still one of the best SMGs to be using, very good, has good mobility, good fire rate, really good damage, muzzle is going to be the Groove Suppressor, barrel is the 8.1 inch task force, stock KGB Skeletal, VDV 40 round fast mag for the magazine, and the rear grip is going to be the Serpent Wrap. So yeah, those right there are the top 5 best class setups and loadouts to be using in Warzone after the update. Hope you guys can use those, get some high kill games, improve your KD, have a ton of fun in the new season, new update. If you enjoyed this video, please smack the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, so you guys don't miss any class setups or insane high kill gameplays in Warzone throughout the year. And yeah guys, with all that being said, please enjoy the rest of your guys' day.